deciding on a DSLR manufacturer is like picking a political party. It can feel like there are only two choices, and it's best if you don't discuss your preference at parties. Nikon and Canon have long been the two dominant players in the DSLR game, fighting year after year to capture the hearts, minds and wallets of the photography world. When it comes to DSLRs with full-frame 35mm sensors, Nikon has recently taken the strategy of simply outnumbering Canon. It has released a staggering 13 full-frame 35mm bodies since its first the Nikon D3 back in 2007. Canon has released only 5 in that time excluding the various cinema EOS bodies. Nikon opened that gap up considerably in the past year, bringing the new D4S, the D610, the D810, and the DF to market. The fifth buddy in this year suddenly packed lineup is the Nikon D750 MSRP $2,299.95. The D750 is designed to bridge the gap between the entry-level D610 and the professional-level D810. The D750 combines the updated 24 megapixel sensor from the D610 with the processor of the D810, sprinkling in a few video centric nods to produce an entirely new class of camera for Nikon. A hybrid full frame DSL are specifically designed for videographers. Nikon isn't known for upending the Apple cart when it comes to design. If you have picked up the Nikon in the past decade, the Nikon D750 will feel instantly familiar. From a control perspective, it's practically identical to its little brother, the Nikon D610. And despite the D610 being lower down the product lineup, the D750 is actually a few millimeters smaller. Even if you haven't shot Nikon in a while, shooting with the D750 is like reacquainting yourself with an old friend. It's not long before it'll feel just as comfortable as it once did. As with previous Nikon bodies, the main focus is on composing your shot, as the only controls you can easily access with your right hand are aperture, shutter speed, AF slash AE lock, and the shutter button. Everything else including metering, white balance, and ISO is shuttled off to the top left corner requiring the second hand to operate. Long-time users will get by just fine, but it's very different from the setup used by Canon's DSLRs, or most mirrorless cameras. Most of Nikon's tinkering has been reserved for the size, shape, and feel of the D750. The grip is deeper than the previous Nikon's but the entire body itself is a bit smaller and lighter than the D610. It is down to just 840 grams without a lens which leads to less fatigue when using the camera over long periods of time rare for a full frame body. The lightweight is largely due to the adoption of a monocoque structure which utilizes a carbon fiber composite alongside the typical magnesium alloy.